So guys, these are the top five tips and tricks that I found in the model editor mode. Basically the five areas I found to be of most use. So we're gonna start by going to selection mode in the top left and then modeling. And I've got a few examples here. So the first is this doorway that's within the arch. Now I wanna make this doorway open this way. And the problem is it's just one mesh. So the very first tip is called plain cut under try model here. So we select plain cut, make sure you select your mesh. Obviously that's not cutting in the right direction. So I'm gonna tilt it up 90 degrees. And we got to make sure to keep both halves here. You don't always have to do that, but in this case, I want to keep the full door. And then we cut and accept. And so now we have both halves of our door and they're each stored as a separate mesh. So if I go to the folder where that lives, now I've got two of them. So the next thing I wanna show you is how to change the pivot of the mesh. And this is really useful because as it stands now, the pivot's right in the center. And if I rotate it, it's not rotating the door in the correct way. So we select our first mesh, we select pivot here, and then I just move the pivot over to wherever I want it. Make sure it's precisely lined up. So that looks good. And then accept. And now if I try to rotate that door, do, 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 do. The next one I thought was best illustrated with foliage. Like it was frequently the case that I liked a foliage asset, but a certain part of it, like down here, these dead leaves, didn't want them. And it's also nice to cut the vertices, the triangles that you don't need because it reduces your poly count, it improves performance. So we select our mesh here. And then under try model here, we select try select, and it actually highlights all of the triangles. And I'm just gonna start with the big leaves, hit delete on my keyboard, it's that simple. Everything you don't need, you just hit that leaf and delete and then accept, and we got a much cleaner, a much healthier looking foliage plant. All right, here's one that I only found recently, and it's really neat. So let's say I've got this wheel here, and what I really want is I want one of the pieces, like I want one of the spokes. So most of these meshes, or I should say many meshes, are designed already to be in pieces, and they're just combined to be in one piece. So model editor mode has this really neat feature where you can just separate them. You select the mesh, and then you hit split here under transform. So it says split the selected meshes into separate parts based on connectivity. Split, and then accept. And voila, we've got all these different parts to the wheel. I have the very center of the wheel. And like I said, many meshes, they're already combining parts to make that mesh. And so based on connectivity, depending on the mesh, this could be a really useful trick. Now, in this case, one of the spokes, or I guess all of the spokes, they're missing the top and the bottom. So this brings us to another one, which is under try model, the hole fill here. And it automatically selects the hole, whatever the hole is, you select that and boom. Now it doesn't always do a fantastic job at the UVs, but I find for simple holes, things like this, almost always it works for what you need. But if it doesn't work for what you need, what I often do is I combine multiple meshes into one mesh. And this is exactly what I was thinking we could do with the door. So let me show you what I mean. So let's say I wanna make one of these doors slightly ajar, but I wanna save the entirety as a single mesh. So with both of the meshes selected here, I just come up to create and we are going to merge multiple meshes. We're gonna to write to a new object so we preserve what we already have. And I'm gonna name it as a jar door, door ajar. And then for the inputs, do I wanna delete the individual doors? No, so we're gonna keep inputs and then accept. And now we have our ajar door and we still got our old doors. I think that was six. So apologies for taking up extra time and I hope to see you in the next one.